glass. A substance so simple, yet when artistry meets science, it transforms into stained glass, a spectacle of radiant colors. This magnificent technology has been with us for a staggering 5,000 years. You see, by the 3rd or 4th century A.D., early forms of stained glass were being used in European Christian churches. However, it was in the 12th century, during the rise of the Gothic Cathedral, that the art of stained glass truly came into bloom. Interestingly, these days, only about ten of all stained glass is seen in religious edifices. The rest... Well, you'll find it enhancing the beauty of residential and industrial structures. While traditionally used in windows, the allure of stained glass now touches lamp shades, Christmas ornaments, and even simple craft projects. But this craft has seen its fair share of highs and lows throughout history. Known as the Golden Age of Stained Glass, the 12th and 13th centuries were a time of extraordinary popularity. However, by the time of the Renaissance, painted glass took center stage, leaving stained glass in the wings. By the 18th century, medieval-style stained glass creation had become a rarity. But hold on. The second half of the 19th century brought about a revival. Artists traveled back in time, rediscovering the medieval principles of designing and working with stained glass, giving birth to a whole new wave of stunning creations. Across the pond in America, William J. Bolton kicked off the stained glass movement in 1843, creating a window for a New York church. Yet, it wasn't until the end of the 19th century that the art gained momentum with Louis Comfort Tiffany and John Lafarge. The real revival in the U.S., however, didn't occur until the turn of the century, when American architects and glassmen took a journey to Europe studying medieval glass windows and returning to create their own stunning art forms. So, how does this marvel of art and science come to life? A stained glass object, like a window, consists of pieces of glass held together by lead. These pieces, roughly one eight-inch thick, are bound together by grooved lead strips or canes and soldered at the joints. Metal saddlebars tied with wire and soldered to the leads secure the entire window at regular intervals. Larger distances are reinforced by T-bars fitted into the masonry. Then there's the faceted glass panel. It differs from traditional stained glass, consisting of slabs of glass embedded in a matrix of concrete, epoxy, or plastic, rather than being held together with lead. Whether in a majestic cathedral or gracing our homes, the magical allure of stained glass is truly timeless.